We have multiple things to talk about in this video. Firstly, it has been very hot and dry in the Caribbean and I will be going into why that's happening in the early part of this video. Next, we want to talk about Lee which has prompted a tropical storm watch and we've also got our Invest 98 and 97L which are merging to become our next named storm and potentially a hurricane. But what could happen in the long term? In this video, I'll break down all you should know and before I go into details, please Please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Alright, first things first, the Caribbean. So let's take a look, a close look at the region and across most islands, there isn't much happening. Of course, there's a bit of thunderstorm activity near uh, Hispaniola and Puerto Rico and occasionally, sometimes there are some showers. But usually we would have a lot more rainfall. But what's the reason things are pretty dry this time around? Well, let's talk about it. So this is a map from a couple of weeks ago. This was from the Climate Prediction Center and it was was one of their forecasts and if we take a look at the dates here we can see that actually for the week of the 6th to the 12th and also the 13th to the 19th take a look at the Caribbean notice those brown shadings indicated below average rainfall activity and also outside the region there we see that highlighted red and white striped area now that red and white striped area is indicating the probability low chance of seeing some development take place which we saw we have Lee out there now and uh, we have another system that is brewing so also for the week of the 13th to the 19th we can also see somewhat of a similar picture to what we're seeing now with the second system which is our next uh, brewing tropical storm out there which we'll go on to that later down in the video so the thing is we've got these tropical waves coming off of Africa and they are developing so what we would see is these tropical waves enter in the Caribbean and as unorganized systems they would produce a lot of rainfall and because they're developing out there in the main development region and moving up to the northwest missing the Caribbean we find that there is some reduced rainfall activity additionally there is some dry air so that's kind of helping to stabilize the weather that is why we're not seeing a whole lot of shower and thunderstorm activity across many spots but as I said there are times when different areas experience some uh, showers and thunderstorms here and there for example in parts of Jamaica and as we saw earlier in sections of Hispaniola so because of the daytime heat and that can induce some rainfall but typically all of that rainfall activity induced by tropical waves is not happening as much this time around however we could see something in the Caribbean as we head to later this month we're looking at the latest update coming from the climate prediction center now so this is for the week of the 20th to the 26th that's week two and then week three is the 27th to October 3rd so we can see that still expecting some dry conditions to be lingering across most of the Caribbean as we head to the week of the 20th to the 26th so through to the rest of September or to the latter part of September we could see this kind of pattern continuing with reduced rainfall activity across some areas especially southeastern islands and continuous development out there across the main development region but take a look at this head into the final week of September heading into early October notice that we have the Western Caribbean also the Gulf of Mexico in that shaded uh, red and white striped area and also out in the main development region so some activity is expected in parts of the Western Caribbean this isn't a hundred percent guaranteed as of now that chance is low but we have seen where the climate prediction center has been fairly accurate with these systems with the kind of weather the general conditions to anticipate so that is what we see happening so now let's go ahead and talk about Lee which has prompted that tropical storm watch so here we are looking at the hurricane it has been struggling out there it hasn't been strengthening as of lately and is sustaining winds of 115 miles per hour still a dangerous hurricane and we can see that it is well to the north of the eastern islands of the Caribbean so as we look at the latest cone forecast coming from the National Hurricane Center it is uh, sustaining those winds as I said it is a major hurricane with winds of 115 miles per hour and uh, there we can see the island of Bermuda highlighted in that yellow which indicates the tropical storm watch which is in effect so those hurricane force winds should remain offshore of the island over to the west but those 
tropical storm force winds are likely to be felt, maybe even some periods of heavy rainfall and those very rough seas. Those rough seas are going to be for majority of the western Atlantic off the east coast, of the northeastern islands of the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands. So uh, that is a danger in terms of marine activity. So please be safe out there. And we can see that weakening is expected. It is going to be gaining latitude, uh, which is, of course, increasing in distance from the equator where we find the warmest water. So it will be moving into cooler waters closer to Atlantic Canada and parts of the northeastern U.S. But as it makes its way into the area, it's going to be moving fairly quickly. So parts of the northeastern U.S., including Maine, even going to New Hampshire, Maryland, and even Rhode Island could experience some impacts from the system here because this is to track the center of it, not the size. And there can still be some shifts or adjustments to the track as it relates to the long term. Notice how it widens. So as we head further out in time, uh, certainty kind of decreases. So there is more uncertainty further out in time here. But there is a likelihood of those hurricane force winds, even strong tropical storm force winds being felt across parts of Maine, going to New Brunswick and Nova Scotia as well. Even that heavy rainfall and that storm surge. So those are likely the, uh, the conditions to expect as we head into the end of this week, Saturday going to Sunday. And then again for Bermuda, those tropical storm conditions are possible. Thursday night heading into Friday. And so we want to briefly talk about Margo. So that is our next hurricane out there. Not a problem for anyone. Maybe bring in some overcast skies and intermittent rainfall to sections of the Azores, but not a major issue out there. It should be moving erratic as we head to later this week, but it's not expected to become a major concern. And now we're looking out into the main development region where we've got invests 97 and 98L. Those two low pressure areas will be combined to form one singular system which will develop. So it is expected to become our next name storm, Nigel. And here we can see that the formation chance has increased since this morning up to 80% through the next seven days. And what happens in the long term is unknown because with the area of high pressure out there, high pressure systems are blockades and tropical cyclones cannot move through them so they have to move around them so they typically steer our systems to the west when they're strong but a weaker high pressure system allows for that northwestward track of these developing tropical storms and hurricanes and that has been sort of the trend that we have been observing for some time now so it looks as though we're going to be seeing so it looks as though that will be the scenario for our future Nigel here. And it could even take on a track similar to that of Lee. There could be impacts to the U.S. There could be impacts to Bermuda. but uh, And even the Caribbean. Should the system move by close enough, there could be impacts uh, felt in the Caribbean. So I'm not saying it will be exactly like Lee. But that is the kind of setup that we're seeing now. And again, what happens in the future remains unclear or uncertain. But we do see that in some tracks let's go on to those for gfs this goes out to the next 10 days we can see that they're keeping the system well offshore of anyone even for the euro tracks here we're seeing them remaining out to sea and uh, even keeping the system as uh, maybe a fish storm but again there can be changes and we're talking about some time out from now again 10 days out so we just have to keep watching it closely to see what it is planning to do here but uh only time will tell what's going to be happening and of course i'm here to keep you guys posted so that is pretty much it for this update and I trust and hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions as usual please leave them in the comments I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so and as always remember to be otherwise.